Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Parrot Linux. Parrot is a Debian based security oriented distribution featuring a collection of utilities designed for penetration testing, computer forensics, reverse engineering, hacking, privacy, anonymity, and cryptography. The project's latest release is based on Debian 12, uses version 6.5 of the Linux kernel and improves wireless network support or networking support. So they just released this uh, new version of Parrot. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. I already got it downloaded and set up in a virtual machine. So let's head on over there and just take a look for ourselves. And we are here in the virtual machine here. So there's an icon on the desktop that says install Parrot. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And it opened up the Calamari's installer. So we'll go through this and get it installed. American English chosen as my language. Uh, my location, it's not correct. But I think with uh, these type of systems that are security orientated and for hacking, I don't think it really matters. And our keyboard layout, English US. I'm gonna set it to erase disk. And I'll do a quick swap the file. And now we enter our user info. Give it a strong password. And log in automatically. All right, click on next. You get a layout of what's gonna happen. And then install now. All right, so the system is installing now. So I'll go ahead and let this run and pause the video. And when we come back, we should be installed and ready to reboot. And the installation is now completed. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on done and reboot the system. Okay, we are now rebooted and on the system. This is Parrot Linux, and I believe it's using the uh, XFCE uh, desktop environment. But uh, we can go through right here. We have a menu on top, on the top right corner. We actually have two panels. We have one on the bottom and one on the top. So you can see there's a menu down here, and then you got a menu right here. And then uh, the top panel has the system tray. And he also has some uh, monitor services in the middle and some pin applications. So going through the applications, let's see, we have privacy, office, internet, graphics, sound and video, games, pen testing, programming, system tools, system services, accessories and universal access and i believe we have the same thing on the bottom menu but let's find out we have all accessories administration games graphics internet office pen testing preferences privacy programming Sound and video, system services, system tools, universal access, and the control center. Opening up a control center opens up your system settings. So basically anything you need to do with your system, as far as uh, appearance or, you know, keyboards, Bluetooth, printers, everything is right here in your uh, control center. And by the looks of this, it's not the XFCE uh, desktop environment. It's going to be the Mate, because this is the uh, control center for Mate. All right, so that's your control center. So going through these uh, applications again, on the privacy is where you find your uh, penetration testing uh, applications. You got like Add and Surf, cryptograph cryptography. 
secure file deleter. So these are all pen testing uh, applications. And I think you have some more in uh, right here where it says pen testing. So you have your big fleet of uh, tools. So uh, going through here, you have all these applications for penetration testing and system admins. And most of these open up in a uh, terminal. So I'll give you some uh, examples. Not all of them open up in a terminal, but most of them do. Say like aircrack. Yeah, see, it opens up in a terminal. And then from here, you just enter your, your password. And it does whatever it's going to do. And let's look at some more uh, pen testing. Let's uh, just look at some random ones. So I said like database exploit, click on it. Yeah, so most of these, they just open up a terminal, you enter your password, and if you know what you're doing with it, then you just proceed and do what you gotta do. And I'll take a look at one more. Let's say like wireless testing. Let's, uh, let's look at air get on. Yeah, all of these, they just simply open up in a terminal, and from here, you just, if you know what you're using it for, you just proceed and do what you're doing with it. Well, let's look, take a look at these uh, pinned applications up here. So we have uh, VS Codium, Pluma, which is your text editor, the terminal, the Mate terminal, and Firefox ESR. So let's look at VS Codium. So here for all you uh, tech geeks, and uh, system admins and uh, developers and code writers, you will use this. This is your ID. And on the about, let's see, VS Codium 1.85.2. And then Pluma is just a regular uh, text editor. I mean, you could use it like an ID too, but you know, it's basically a text editor. And Pluma version 1.26.0 and the terminal is going to be the parrot terminal says here and on the about mate terminal 1.26.0 and let's see if you got simple programs like htop installed and you do you can see right here we're running 975 megabytes on the ram and the on the load averages for your CPU, 0 0.30, 0 0.36, and 0 0.21. And let's see if they have NeoFetch. And they do. See right here, Paris Security 6.0. Kernel 6.5.0. Desktop environment, Mate 1.26.0. All right, and then last but not least, you got Firefox, your web browser. And it comes with a few uh, a few bookmarks up here. So let's take a look at the about, and then we'll take a look at some of these bookmarks. So on the Firefox, we're running 115.6.0 ESR, extended support release. It's your standard release on Debian and uh, enterprise based systems so let's see we'll look at parrot os look at some documentation see what it has to say and parrot os documentation an important part of any operating system is documentation the technical manuals which describe the operation and use of programs as part of its effort to create a high quality free operating system the parrot the parrot project is making every effort to provide all of its users with proper documentation in an easily accessible form. So you have your introduction, installation, virtualization, configuration, cloud, USB, troubleshooting, tools, and mirrors. Well, let's take a look at tools and see. Yeah, right here, basically, you got all your uh, your penetration testing tools, Ananserf, Nmap, Rclone. WGET is basically a, it's a terminal program just to download you know pretty much you put a link in there and it'll download whatever's in that link 
it's kind of like curl, but it's it's not it's not it's just basically you could use this to download with the terminal. You could download a web URL, just a regular link. All right, see so if they got anything else that's a uh, got I am Mate in your graphics. You got GIMP, LibreOffice, Draw, and Mate color selection. And in sound and video, you have Bracero, your uh, disk manager, to create and copy CDs and DVDs. You got Cheese, take photos and videos with your webcam with fun graphical effects. Then you got MPV Media Player, may play movies and songs. You get back to sound and video. Sound is just your controller for your audio. VLC Media Player and vocal screen. I believe this is a, yeah, it's an easy to use desktop recorder. All right, so this is a Parrot Linux. It's one of those systems that you use for penetration testing and system admin. So if it's something you want to take a look at, I'll have the links down in the video description and you can play with it yourself and see what you can do with it. Hack away. The world is at your fingertips. All right, but that's going to do it for me and I'm out. Thank you.